Cuban bunker, Russian bunker, munitions dump, troop tents. Machine gun bunkers here, 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 and here. Back here by the drive-in screen are your political prisoners. All right, we'll cause a diversion over here, cut holes in the wire here, fire on all these machine gun positions. The B group comes across this area in a flanking maneuver, and when you reach this bunker, you lay down grazing fire in this defilade. I think that's pretty simple. Anybody got any questions so far? What's a flank? A defilade? Yeah, what's grazing fire? Why I need a drink. Right at him? What's that up? Hey there, I hope everyone's doing well. Not too long ago, I was looking for a way to organize all my radio notes and my reference information for field use. So I started looking around online and found a, quite a few solutions in the form of binders and different binder configurations, but none of them really suited my needs. However, there was one product that I really did like called Battleboard. And Unfortunately, the price point of that product was outside my budget, but what I liked about it is the design was modular, so you could take a presentation board and combine that with a notebook, and inside the notebook you could include things like a uh, plastic map holder, uh, write in the rain, notebook paper, as well as some other odds and ends. So it actually really gave me some good ideas on how to build my own. Their product really did check a lot of boxes, but unfortunately, as I said, I'd, it was outside my budget, so I went in a different direction and just decided to build my own, and that's what you see here. Of course, this one's not as cool as the Battleboard one, but I went on Amazon and I found a uh, binder for about 40 bucks, and as you can see, I've got it decorated with some morale patches that I had made a little while ago, but inside the binder, I just have some erasable pens and I use those with this uh, rocket book that I've had for several years now, but I like to uh, make notes in the rocket book and scan the pages and then send those to either to my email or OneNote. I've also got a compact atlas of the world. And one of the things that really kind of drew me towards the battle book was uh, they have a presentation board, a lot like this one. This one I found on Amazon. I was lucky enough to find one that fits in this binder, but on the back you can see it's just got a pouch for some dry erase markers. But I liked the idea of being able to print some maps, laminate them, and include them in a presentation board like this one. Uh, that way I can draw on it with my dry erase markers for whatever adventures I go on. But the battle board version, Basically, it clips into the uh, the notebook, and you can kind of flip through things. But um, again, this one's not as fancy, but it'll do for my purposes. But as far as reference information, I just have some basic stuff for right now, converting Zulu time to local time. And uh, I already had some of these 8.5 by 11 clear plastic sheets on hand. So everything I printed out, I laminated and just uh, put in here. But I've also got the US Amateur Radio Bands, some short codes for JS8 Call, uh, some air brand references, a uh, list of local repeaters, as well as a list of weekly nets. I've also got a list of all the frequencies programmed into my radios. This is a copy of Amron's Channel 3 project with uh, emergency frequencies for CB, FRS, and GMRS, and MERS, as well as just a short script that they provided. Got a list of all the FRS and GMRS frequencies, as well as a CB radio channel list. I've also printed out all of my Yesu FT891 settings for voice and digital modes, and it's just a handy reference that I have for when I switch back and forth between uh, those two modes, voice and digital, I can go back and look at what my previous settings were. I've also got a printout of some um, manual programming instructions for some HTs. This is uh, some write in the rain notebook paper I found on Amazon. And towards the back, I've just got some uh, plastic map holders with some local maps. And that's really about it. 
and I'm sure at some point I'll add or remove some of this material as I uh, as I continue to use it. I'm, I've got a few other things I'd probably like to add to it. And I'll probably include a tablet at some point just for some more voluminous reference material that isn't practical to print out. But uh, anyway, that's kind of what I've got for right now. And hopefully for those of you looking to do the same thing and just kind of organize your, your notes and reference material, maybe this will give you some ideas. Or perhaps if you've already got a setup that you're already using, let me know what, uh, what you're doing in the comment section and what works for you. But uh, anyway, that's all I've got for this video. Thanks for watching.